this one is really shocking. You, it looks like you can buy a child. I mean, that's a shorthand and the details are a little unclear, but HHS will be accepting donations from the private sector, non-government organizations and quote other groups independent of the federal government for the care of unaccompanied minor children. So process that. There are all these little kids crossing at this uh, wide open border. They're unaccompanied. And instead of government agencies that are overseen, that are careful, that are scrutinized, that take custody of these children and, and have responsibility for their care, now HHS can accept private donations for kids care from the private sector, from other groups. It could be anyone. We could call ourselves a group and donate, you know, for the care of a child. And then what what access to that child does this give? It's unclear, but it makes me very uncomfortable that the the care of children, you know, funding of it is being outsourced to uh, uh, not overseen third parties. Um, here's a much scarier. And we know we know from Ver- we know from we know from Pro- oh, hang on. we know from Project Veritas's the the government whistleblower the unaccompanied minors. I mean, they're down in houses in Houston. There's like forty to a house with a couple of these people that just show up and, and sign up for them, and there's no verification, there's no checking. In fact, the, the government whistleblower called them brothels, it essentially said these are brothels. These unaccompanied kids are just completely, you know, it's it's all sexual tra- transportation, trafficking, right? And Traff- this is a government, this is a, a woman who's been the government for forever, and she's saying these houses in Houston, around the Houston area, she goes 20 here, there's 41 here, and she said, hey, they're essentially brothels. So now this is in the bill. You know, come and put your group together. They had the story in California to get the pedo farms, right? They got the t- 15 people, ped- pedophiles living in a place together. Maybe they put in a bid and buy some children. That's basically what you're saying. There, it looks like they're just taking money from anybody that shows up to Take actually, money. quote unquote, help unaccompanied minors. Exactly. Any group. Like it doesn't even have to be a registered NGO that works with children. It can be the Ku Klux Klan. It can be any group. It can be man, boy, love, you know, groups. Um, And again, this is a story that needs digging into. But you and I both know that you don't go to the trouble of hiring the lawyers to draft a section of the bill unless you plan to do something with it, unless there are already people standing by to write checks to help the children, whatever that means. But it's disturbing. This is equally disturbing. Section 775, page 125, transfer of national bio and agro defense facilities from DHS to the Department of Agriculture must be completed in 120 days after the passage of this bill. And so this is a facility in Manhattan, Kansas. Um, But what you see, you see this apparently throughout the bill, that there's a transfer of, uh, you know, one sector, in this case, Def- bio and agro defense, right, um, from the Department of Homeland Security. That's a very serious responsibility to the Department of Agriculture. And and so you're seeing throughout the bill this transfer of uh, the oversight of acres and acres of farmland and also the oversight of facilities to the Department of Agriculture, the way that before in the last iteration, Plan A, they transferred all of this um, a formerly accountable activity to HHS in under the guise of medical activity. Um, and, you know, for instance, there's a Soros backed group called Arabella and one of its graduates is now in charge of all of these uh, native lands and programs in this bill um, through which millions and millions are flowing in this bill, you know, for allegedly agricultural activities. But it's basically, again, a a, a, it's, it's that model of the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation getting all the money to to serve their own self-interest, but in this case, using agriculture. Um, there's a lot of uh, scary medical stuff ahead that's bilateral. For, this is page 1307, Title III. Um, unbelievable. Four billion, one hundred sixty-five million, nine hundred fifty thousand dollars is going to Build the capacity of public health institutions and organizations in developing countries and for such activities, including in 